Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to make this reticle uh, in the screen appear on where we need to shoot. So here, as you can see, as I move around, the reticle also goes along with the mouse, and it exactly shows where my character will hit bullets when I shoot. So. Here we have some enemies. Let me find out them first. Okay. So I can kill them. Because now I know where I am going to hit. Alright. Let's see how to do this today. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done from my Patreon page. I'll leave the link in description below. And also I'm using here the base character that I worked on in this third person shooter series. This is a bit older series, but still things are valid here. You can follow this and create everything that you have you are seeing here and also this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support right now let's get into today's episode okay now as of now you don't see the reticle move with the point that i'm pointing in the map here yeah, it's just i can shoot but my reticle remains in the middle so how do we handle that first uh, for that here i'll define an enumeration to say which game mode is this and to do that print enumeration e game mode the default one will be third person and the next one top down all right now uh, we have this CLM BPI player controller interface. Here I'll add a new function get current game mode. Okay, and it should return the current game mode that is defined by E game mode enumeration. okay it will by default return third person now if i go to the clm top down player controller i have this get current game mode i return top down and if I go to this airless player controller which, is controller which is working with the third person default third person mode here I'll make sure it returns third person it's already do that okay now mm, the widgets here widget WDG weapon this is the widget weapon widget that we are using now we need to move this to match with our cursor location when we are in the top down mode so to do that first we need to know which game mode is this so here i'll add a new variable game mode and the type of a e game mode and do we have construct okay here 
in here I'll get player controller get current game mode and save it to this game mode the value okay now do we have the tick here we don't it's all right let's add tick here no based on the game mode let's do a switch if the game mode is that person we don't really need to do anything but if it is top down we need to move the cursor so this dot and this part and also this cross as well that appears in case we hit someone right so how do we do that so let's just move this only this reticle first and here if i go to the designer view the reticle is in slot as a canvas panel slot and anchored to the middle of the screen as you can see here so if i add a positive value it would be like this negative value it would be like this okay now what i want to do is uh, assign the location based on my cursor location okay so to do that we can get mouse position on viewport and as i know this is changing from zero to whatever this viewport size but let's see what it is let's print so this would print the mouse location i need to equip a weapon yeah so the top left is zero zero it's a point something value but it's closer to zero zero it will be zero zero if i go to the more top most edge and here it's uh, it's going to uh 1920 to 180 so basically full hd resolution and now Now it, I think it's giving me the actual resolution. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. Okay, now here, now let me print. Here we have get viewport. Uh, we have viewport scale, viewport size. So let me use this viewport size and print that. And that is 2560 by 1440. So 1440. So this is the actual resolution of my monitor. So that's the size. But I get the full HD resolution for the top left, uh, for the bottom right, in this mouse position on viewport so i think that means here if i get viewport scale and divide it the viewport size from the scale it should match yeah see now it's going to uh 1920 to 180 okay uh 1080 not 180 okay so that means as i said from the middle it goes to negative and positive 
to the left and right now here I'll get the reticle get slot uh, canvas slot get slot as canvas slot and then set position and here if I simply subtract the middle point of this viewport for that I need to divide this by 2 oh here I can add another one dot 2 and then use it as the position now let's see see my cursor is moving exactly to the position that I am I want to show it, that I am targeting all right now we need to do the same for this other stuff which is dot and cross dot canvas slot not sure if I can connect here Oh, I can. Yeah, can. Okay, and the other one is cross. Okay, now let's see. Great. Now, if I go to my demo level, uh, here also let me remove this debug pointers that I have. I don't need them anymore. No. I have an enemy somewhere. Let me drag and drop to NPCs so I have someone to shoot. Let's give them a different shirt color so I can identify them easily. Oh, here we are in the third person mode. Let me switch to drop down mode. Okay, the weapon. Enemy spotted. Oh. There are they? Okay, I can shoot them now and move. Okay, all right. So that's all I want to do in this episode. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Mm, I'll upload the updated projects in here and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.